Hello to my wonderful first and second graders. It's good to be back with you again for our next music lesson. As you know, we're going to start with Ola, so let's sing. Ola. with you again. I'm going to put my guitar down for just a few moments, I should say, maybe a little bit more than that, because it's time for our devotion. And our devotion and part of our music time is going to be devoted to peace. I have a peace banner behind me that I hang on my bedroom door just to remind me of peace. And it's uh, written in many languages, the word peace. And on the bottom, it says peace on earth. And that's what we all wish for. How do we get that peace? Well, we might find that out in our devotion. So let's listen to it right now. I've got peace like a river. Nolan and Julia had just pushed away from the dock in their canoe. The river was smooth and the sky was clear. They hadn't gone very far when Nolan realized they forgot something very important. They forgot their life preservers on the dock. They had to go back. Life preservers keep us safe and give us peace of mind. They're always there in times of trouble. Jesus is like that. He's always there in times of trouble. Have you ever forgotten about Jesus? He can save us when we fall into trouble. Jesus saves and he gives us peace. He's our lifesaver. That's right. We just have to call on Jesus and we can get that peaceful feeling just from him. We just have to ask for it. And here is our scripture verse for today. It's from John chapter 20, verse 21. Jesus said, peace be with you. Pretty simple, right? Say it after me. Jesus said, peace be with you. Jesus said, peace be with you. Isn't that easy? Bow your heads and we will say our very short prayer. Lord, let me never forget about Jesus and the peace he gives to those who trust him. Amen. Jesus saves and Jesus gives us peace. He's our lifesaver. You bet. Well, let's talk right now about somebody else who truly believed in peace as well. And he knew where to ask for it. And that was from Jesus. And that's Dr. Martin Luther King. I'm recording this on January 17th, the day before we celebrate Martin Luther King's birthday. We talked about Martin Luther King in our last lesson. And I hope maybe you've had a chance in your classroom or maybe at home to talk about all the wonderful things that Dr. Martin Luther King said and did. Because Martin Luther King was a mighty, mighty man and a mighty, mighty man was he. He was a teacher and a preacher and a freedom speaker. And he loved both you and me. And he believed in using peaceful means to get his message across. And of course, peace has to begin with you and me. And we'll be singing about that peace in our songs. If you remember last week, we sang about these songs about Martin Luther King, and I had them in front of you. But today, I want you to just sing along with me. I'm not going to put them up on the screen. Most of them are fairly easy. And so you'll be able to, you know, if you go, oh, I don't remember what they are. You've got some easy parts, and I'm here to help you with it. So let me take my guitar right now. And the first song we're going to sing is the one that sounds like Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. We've talked about this many times, how sometimes people want to get their message across, 
but they don't always want to write a new melody. They'll put it to a familiar melody. And then you and me, we already know that familiar melody. We just have to learn the words. And that's what it's like when we're singing freedom. So I will sing it. Actually, the first time I sing it, I'll sing each line twice. The first time I'll sing it louder and the second time will be a little bit softer. That's when you'll sing it after me. All right, let's try it. Freedom, freedom, let it ring. Sing it. Freedom, freedom, let it ring. Listen. Let it ring, said Dr. King. our next song which is sing about martin very easy because all you really have to do is sing whatever i sing this is probably the easiest song today sing about martin sing about caring sing about peace just sing it that one time, but you sing it after me. Sing about Martin, sing about caring, sing about peace all around the world. Sing about Martin, sing about loving, sing about peace. imagining all the good voices that I can hear. Well, now we're going to go to the song, A Man Named King. And if you remember, the part that you always sing is the Alleluia part. Of course, you can sing any of the other words if you remember them. But once there was a man named King, Alleluia, they called him Martin Luther King, Alleluia. So that's what we're going to sing right now. And if nothing else, please sing the Alleluia part. Here we go. Once there was a man named King, Alleluia. They called him Martin Luther King, Alleluia. Let's try that again. All right, I know you can sing that.
peace does start with me and you. We can't leave it up to everybody else. We have to be peaceful people. And by our example, more and more people will be peaceful. So let's let it start with us. And now we go to A Man with a Dream, another song that sounds familiar it's to the tune of B-I-N-G-O, which you know spells bingo. But instead of spelling bingo, at the end of the song, we're going to spell, oh, just like my banner, P-E-A-C-E, -E, peace, P-E-A-C-E. -E. All right, there was a man who had a dream. His name was Martin Luther King. I'm sure you can sing this along with me. There was a man who had a dream. His name was Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. His name was Martin Luther King. All right, let's try that again. There was a man who had a dream. There was. challenge you. I want you to make sure you do one peaceful thing today. One peaceful thing. So maybe when you get angry, instead of getting angry and raising your voice and yelling, you just do a little counting, maybe up to 10, and getting back to that peaceful level again. Maybe you're going to try to tell somebody, we need to keep peace. We're not going to be fighting. We're not going to be calling names. You're going to check yourself and go, oh, that's something I shouldn't say. I want to be peaceful. So I'm challenging you today, find some ways to be peaceful. All right. Well, you know what? You've been sitting down for a while, and I thought you'd like to have a little fun before we sit down and have a little bit of a lesson. So why don't you stand up right now and... We'll hear the freeze. Now, you know what the freeze, I know everybody loves this. I mean, I always love doing it too. I'm not going to stand up because I want you to be able to hear and I'll just sit and be ready to uh, let you listen to the song. But with the freeze, remember when the music stops, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you cannot move at all. So you're gonna have to freeze. And then when the music starts again, you get to start again. All right, a little bit of fun. Here we go. Cueing up the music. And be ready. Oh, be ready. Here we go. This song is a freeze activity. What do you do when the music stops? Don't move until the music starts again. Here we go. Start moving.
啊啊啊。Freeze. Sure, you did a great job with that. So, have a seat, everybody. You got to stand up for a little bit, but now let's sit down because we're going to learn about a couple of instruments. You know that in the past we've learned about the violin, we've learned about the trumpet, and we've learned about the flute and its cousin, the piccolo. Well, today we're just going to learn just a little bit about some monsters. And I'm sure you're going, huh? Learning about monsters and music? Yes, today we're going to be calling them some kind of monsters. I wonder what they're going to be. Well, if you look down here, this is what we're going to be talking about today. These monsters, they keep the, what do you think it is? What do you think they keep? If you said the word beat, you're right. These would be the beat monsters, B-E-A-T. They help all these other instruments to stay in time and keeping the beat. So I thought I'd just talk about them and I'm gonna show you a picture. Um, I don't happen to have a drum set here. I wish I had a real one that I could show you but I'll, I'll show you first in the book here. So you can see this is the beat monster playing, right? All right, well, we've got first down here, the largest drum, which is called a bass drum, and it's spelled B-A-S-S. -S. And I'm sure you're looking at it and you might go, B-A-S-S, -S? bass? No, a bass is a type of fish. This in music, bass, means something low. It's going to sound low. And the bass drum is the lowest sounding drum. So not like baseball, that's B-A-S-E, but bass drum, so B-A-S-S. -S. So this is the bass drum. And I did want to take something out of my bag right now because I do happen to have something that we need to use in order to play the bass drum. You can see if we were to trace this in a workbook, this would be a mallet. We need to use some kind of a mallet to play these bigger drums. This is a pretty heavy one and it's got a softer, it's got a hard material, but it's soft on the outside. So it's not like you're going to break the drums. The drums are pretty tough, but it's going to give that loud bass drum sound. So you're going to need something like this, uh, a mallet. I will show you another type of mallet too because sometimes a mallet can have a softer covering on it. And if we want a softer sound, we would use a mallet that has a, it's not as hard. This is kind of like, think about a cotton ball on top of here. So it's much softer than this harder mallet. So there's different, all different kinds of mallets depending on what kind of sound that you want to produce on your drums. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is the snare drum. This is a picture of a snare drum here. And inside the snare drum, there are little tiny pieces of metal and they vibrate against the drum head. And so when you play the drum, it makes a very unique sound. I like the snare drum. It's it stands on a it's on a stand right here. 
if you happen to be marching in a parade, you could put some kind of a harness around you and you could also be playing that snare drum too. And in order to play a snare drum, you're going to need to have some sticks. So these are, this really are a pair of drumsticks right here. I'll let you know that a couple years ago I bought these at Disney World because they've got one of my favorite bands on it. So these are drumsticks and you're going to play the snare drum with these drumsticks. Finally, we've got one more thing up here called a cymbal. I know that some of you have played a cymbal before because sometimes cymbals, I'll put my sticks down for a minute, cymbals you can take and hold one in each hand and you can crash them together. But this cymbal happens to be on a stand, so you would be playing it with a stick. Well, I told you that I would get a chance to show you a picture of a real drum set. So I'm gonna put my other things down here so that I can hold the book and show you because this is a pretty cool picture. Because this would be a full drum set right here. When I showed you the cartoon picture in the book, that just had the bass drum, the snare drum, and the, and the cymbal, only one cymbal. But if you take a look here, here's that big bass drum. And a drummer, because a drummer, he or she usually has those drumsticks in their hand, the bass drum is going to have a pedal on it that the drummer has to keep time with their foot and also has to use the drumsticks for you know the various other drums here. So we've got the bass drum, we've got Toms, they're also called toms. This is one that, stand, that uh, will stand on the floor. It's a floor tom. And this is where we've got two toms together. We've also got, we've got the symbol right here. This is called a hi-hat. It almost looks like a hat when it's, so it's two symbols that go together. Notice that there is a pedal that the drummer also has to use. I'm gonna tell you a drummer is really, really busy. They've got a lot to do. We've also got right here another symbol that's called a ride symbol. So it can go up or down depending on how high you want it. But you can use these and we've also got the crash symbol. Oh, wow. So think about a drummer. They're sitting on a stool. They've got to use their feet for the, you know, either for the crash symbol, they've got to, or the hi-hat, excuse me. And they've got to use it for the bass drum and then their hands are busy with their drumsticks as well. Wow. Maybe some of you will be a drummer someday. Maybe you're drumming right now. I don't know who has a drum set, or maybe you have different kinds of drum because there's all different kinds of drums. This would be, this is a drum set, and the drummer is the person in a band who keeps the beat. And of course, that's what we're talking about today. And just so you know, Drums are what we call percussion instruments. You know a lot of other percussion instruments because mm, many weeks ago, we talked about rhythm instruments. And we'll, we'll be doing that again, but if you remember maracas and tone blocks and bells and hand drums, those are all percussion instruments. And so is our drum set. And they really help to keep all of the other instruments together. All right, so I'm gonna close that up right now. And I thought we would do one more song. So I'm gonna put my, my drumsticks and my mallets in here. And thanks for listening. I'm gonna let you stand up again, okay? Because I know how hard it is to sit for such a long time and I'm going to let you do a little bit of moving around before. I know you've got other things that you have to do as well. So let's sing when the Spirit says sing, all right? So you're standing up and get ready to sing along with, with me and then I'm gonna ask you to be doing a few other things. <laughs>
it's your whole body that's going to help to keep the beat, but you're going to be slow. And you're going to turn. You've got to turn when the Spirit says turn. I hope you are helping to keep the beat because we can do that with clapping, stamping, snapping our fingers, even by turning our body and listening to the beat of the music. And remember, that's what a drummer has to do. They're kind of like the ones in charge a lot of the times. I mean, if they slow down, they're pretty loud. Everybody else has to be listening for that. And when you're part of a band, that's what you're listening for, especially when there's that drummer there. All right, my friends, thanks for a great music time today. I want to just remind you about our challenge, our peaceful challenge. Make it a point, make it a point to find something peaceful to do today. All right, so we have to sing. Adios, amigos. Adios, my friends. Hasta la vista. I'll see you again. La 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 la. Ole! So remember, my friends, stay safe, stay healthy, stay peaceful. Until we meet again. Goodbye.